and um, it's already somewhat awkward to develop the pieces. For example, uh, obviously knight c3 is impossible, but knight bd2 was the move played in the game, and then just knight f4. And I believe in the game something like bishop e4, d5 occurred, and then black later played bishop e5 and uh, knight d3 and gain the two bishops. Uh, something like that. Yeah. So anyways, one of the other main lines is just knight c3 here. Um, take, take, queen c7. Okay, bishop d2 and knight d7. And um, there are two moves that have been played here, bishop d3 and also just e takes d6. But um, both of them don't really offer much trouble for black. I think that bishop d3 might even just be a mistake. Uh, one, of, one of the lines that I had prepared once for a tournament game was bishop d3, take on e5, castle, castle, uh, bishop d6, sorry, uh, one, and now castle. And, of course, he can regain the pawn on e5, which must be his basic idea. But the problem is, because of his damaged pawn structure on the, on the queen side with two isolated pawns and a weak c4 square, weak light squares, uh, basically it boils down into a type of endgame. Take, 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 check. King g8, take c5. Okay, if he plays the endgame, he'll just get a slightly worse endgame. But I was looking at uh, f6, rook e3, and then queen f7. And then possibly play e5 and bishop e6, bishop c4, or something like that. And uh, black just appears to be slightly better, in my opinion. And so anyways, I'll go back. Uh, let's see here. Okay, e takes d6. Bishop takes d6. Bishop d3. And I played this position once in tournament game and played castle, which should be fine. But uh, the main move is b6, just b6 and bishop b7. b6, castle, and bishop b7. Although I have to say that if black is regularly getting, getting comfortable positions like this in the opening, he's really not facing many problems. So anyways, there, there are a lot of things that occur in this opening. For example, by castling and playing e5, or um, just playing in the center, for example, uh, utilizing the d5 square by playing something like a6 and b5 uh, so that the d5 square becomes a piece, uh, a square where you can place a piece. Uh, let's see. I'll go back to bishop c4, which was recently played by Rajabov. Uh, knight c6, one possible line, too many possibilities to mention. So castle, bishop e7. Queen e2, e takes d6, queen takes d6 is also played here. And now, uh, castle. So now there are two main moves here. This was also talked about by Kasparov um, in the his new series, the first book in his new series. And um, rook d1 was recently played in uh, a Caruana game. Let's see, rook d1. But uh, now basically forcibly... Black is able to get the two bishops, for example, knight a5. And the main move here, I, I believe, is b3, but then just bishop d7, and the position shouldn't offer uh, any problems for black. But bishop d3, knight b4, um, take, take, and f5. And um, again, it's a sort of position where Black is able to take a weakness on the e5 square, specifically because, okay, he already has the d5 square, but, but on the other hand, uh, he has enough pieces to counter the e5 square, so that it's not really actually uh, too big of a problem, and other factors come into play. So in this specific game, uh, I'll just play through a few moves. Take, take, b6, bishop e7, f4... Rook f5 is coming soon, and black has excellent play. Despite the slight weakness on the e5 square, he's developed really good play. 
So anyways, um, knight c3 is the main move. Take, 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 queen a5. And again, there are many moves here, but a4 was the one uh, recently played. Rook d8. Anyways, I, I think that if you look at the weaknesses, for example, in the c5 square, c4 square, b3 square, um, if you're comparing the positions objectively just on a static um, evaluation, you can kind of see that black has no real particular weaknesses. And al although white has some possibility to, um, to start some attack, for example, with eventually bishop d3, queen e4, h4, h5, with some sort of attack like this. Um, for the most part, black is extremely solid, and white has some structural weaknesses. So it, it is a def definitely a type of, you're getting a type of position for right from the opening, where you have really good winning chances. So anyways, let's see, bishop d2, I'll just show how this game went. Bishop d7 going to e8 so that the bishop's out of the way and the rooks can operate on the c file and the d file. Um, rook d7. Yeah, bishop e5 was interesting. Um, yeah, it's hard to come up with much of suggestions here, but uh, rook a d8 was coming. Yeah. And I have to say, I, I, I enjoy any type of structure like this where I have no real specific weaknesses. Okay, you can. It, it's easy to say that once the dark square bishops have been traded off, then you have a weak f6 square. But uh, this is kind of a, a special case because we're already somewhat, somewhat deeper in the game. But anyways. Uh, let's see. Anyways, I, I won't really go through.